Hey there everyone, it's Stellar Steel, and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Zero Mission. Last time, we went through Norfair and collected a handful of items to help us proceed through our journey in the depths of Zebes. Zebes sounds like some kind of STD. Um, so, uh, we got the Ice Beam, which powers us powers up our shot and turns us blue for some reason. We can now have our charge shot blue. It's basically you made our ch uh, shot permanently. Now we can freeze enemies. And we got the power grip that I can't show off because save rooms don't have ledges. But this time we're going to be, yeah, basically exploring more of the planet. So, uh, we're also made into like this bubbly-like area. I suppose I'll go ahead and explore. Now with the ice beam we can like climb up high. You know, you could just do this and, you know, break the crap out of the game. It's a bit annoying with the ice beam sometimes, but... Eh, what are you gonna do, you know? Oh, this place. Uh crap. Let's leave and come back because enemies I think I don't think these guys actually die. Let's shoot a stream. Don't let the streams cross. Eh, that wasn't really a big ghost fan. Actually one of my friends who later on actually began to appreciate uh, appreciate Luigi's Mansion, he said that oh it's a clone of literally Ghostbusters. I mean I suppose I can't blame him. I'm supposed to go back to Brainstar, are you kidding me? Oh, Great. That totally does not look ominous or foreboding or... Hmm. Oh, wow, that was actually a really bad transition for the statue. It's really like they move and they kind of just sit down and then they're shut down for all eternity. So, blast. Blast. Blast it. I actually forgot who said that. Blast. Uh, I think there's actually a power-up. I oh, know. This is an area we're supposed to go. It looks kind of weird. They look like they have some sort of turtle, sh turtle shells. You can actually uh, extend the duration of them being frozen by just, you know, shooting them again and it refreshes the time they were frozen, so that's pretty nice. Uh, these fire enemies look kind of like. I feel like I should call them Ignea. Ah, I wanted that missile thing, but then again, what, was I really going to use that? Not really. I remember this room being a room we can't enter. You might notice our health is going down from just being in here. Yeah, you need a. We, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea if you stay in there for too long. Alright, looks like we gotta return. We can't do anything about that room for now, that's unfortunate. Uh, we could go in there, we, there's an item to get, but I wouldn't, uh, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't count your chickens. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, I don't know. I, I'm saying some kind of stupid economical terms thing that someone's gonna hate me for calling it, uh, stupid. Actually, oh, there's a missile power up right up here, isn't there? Right, right. I thought there was. Uh... Hello? I know you're in here. Come on out. Missile power up. Missile tank. Okay, I feel like I really should take. <laughs> I should have uh, looked at my notes a little bit more, but. I yeah, think it's actually really didn't take many notes for this, but. Eh. I'm kind of just going on the whim. I've I played this game a lot. I've actually never 100%ed it before. So this will be the first time 100%ing it. I got really close to 100%ing it, but yeah, I figured it might as well. Why 100% it when you can just do the LP of it? So and you guys can just enjoy it. Okay, now I do plan on not doing that for other uh, LPs in the future. Although I actually really haven't, I really haven't 100%ed a crap ton of games before, which is a bit of interesting trivia for me. Alright, so I suppose I'll go ahead and, since uh, we have the ice beam, we can now... Actually, you could just wall jump back up here, but now you can get back freely. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to see you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys back where those areas were, where we can get originally, but it's easier. Not that we have the ice beam. Yeah, that was that item. Because we have the ice beam, it's a bit easier to reach stuff, so I'll see you guys back there. Oh, hey, wanted to tell you, we are going to be back in this area a lot. Freaking giant horned Hercules. Okay, easy ice area, ice beam area number one. I think I already am screwing this up. I can't even wall jump on him. <sighs> freeze I you, and then freeze I you. Why do I sound like some kind of like Latin stereotype? An easy missile tank, just really, you could have got that either way, whatever. I think that's really just about it in here. Oh, incorrect. Oh, that was a shortcut to this area. Huh.
Well, I'll see you guys back at the next area, although I'm pretty sure we can't really do much without uh, further items. Oh, hey, I just noticed that those, like, mallows are gone. Maybe those, like, parasites ate them? Interesting. Uh, we are coming right up on the area. Not too far from here. Uh, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure we can't do anything about it without some further items, but I know we can just at least check it out with the ice beam. Just to prove it to you guys that we really can't do anything. Wait, no, I meant to say we really can't do anything unless we're, unless we're like a super awesome speedrunner god. Okay, since we can freeze that guy, oh, actually... Oh yeah, there actually is an item that would help us achieve our goals way easier than this. In fact, um... I am already messing up the bomb jump timing, but whatever. Uh, pretty sure we definitely can't do anything up here. I'm hoping I don't fall. There we go. Alright. Because uh, we're supposed to have an item very soon. Oh hey, look! Stronger version of these guys. They're still absolute pushovers. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. I think I, guys, I think I broke it. We're actually... We're actually not supposed to be here. I... Whoops! Oh well. I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, falling down there I think is pretty much uh, near suicide. Oh. oh! Well, I just got a missile tank expansion early. I'll take that. Uh, I don't even think we can get out of here. Freaking <laughs> more Hercules. Ruining my savvy savvy moment of just being able to get through here. Yeah, I, I have no idea if we can get through here. Oh, I know there's an area up here, but you gotta... It's... I, just don't even bother getting up here unless you have an item uh, for the future. I know there's like... Okay, never mind. You could... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get up here. Oh, I'm just trying to sequence break the stuff, and I'm, I'm gonna have a, just a horrible time trying to... Uh, do the cards. Because, you know, I, I don't remember all the options of how to get this stuff. I know there's an enemy. You actually can lead one of the enemies. Uh, if we could leave this room to come back in, we can lead one of the enemies and then freeze him up there. Um, you know what? I'm going to do just ex uh, just exact that. Leave this guy alone. Open up the gap up top. So, also, how that kind of... That reminds me of uh, Metroid 1 days, where enemies would get stuck in the doors. Alright, so, since he's up there now... Try to... Should be able to get up here just fine, yeah. Then... Just stop moving! Get back up here, Galaga. Freeze him... Should be able to bomb jump up here, or you know that can always just break. Oh wait, no, no, no. Well, he didn't live long. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut this if I just suck miserably with the bomb jumps. I love how I just almost did it too. Okay, never mind. You probably could do this, but the timing on those blocks—they reappear so fast. Don't even bother, we're just about to get the item anyways to get up there easier. <laughs> um, alright, so let's go into more unexplored territory we should be in. Alright, uh, I think... Yeah, I remember there being a missile expansion here somewhere. Let's go through all these tubes. Uh, that's an eject hole over there. I do definitely remember there being a missile expansion. All these germs or germs or germs or whatever. Come on, I know there's one in here somewhere. Or, you know, we can just get into the eject hole for the acid. Excuse me, acid. Jeez. Alright. Uh, yeah, there really is an old crap ton of new... Uh, my graduation party was pretty good, I will say, though. A lot of friends came. We had a really good Mario Kart tournament. Uh, Mario Kart DS. I know there's 3DS, Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that came out after that. And yeah, Mario Kart Wii, too. And that, that game was pretty good. It's not the best Mario Kart Wii game. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun with it myself. All right, now we must get to Kraid, which you can get there via these the shaft down here. But I will keep talking about the graduation party on along the way. 
I played some Luigi's Mansion. Somehow we actually survived. One of my friends who never played Luigi's Mansion gave my gave my extra 3DS, and then he somehow was able to do it, even though he got like the least amount of gold. And my one friend was like basically about to die of getting a hernia because he was he was like just chucking, and he had like 600 weight, and we, only, we I think I had like 175 because I was busy greeting people uh, at the, when the, when they would come in. So I got like second place. My friend got a close third, and then my sister got a uh, like close for uh, fourth it was uh, I feel kind of bad for my one friend but oh well uh, at least we had fun though and somehow we were able to manage so I feel like he could have managed on his own even though but then again it is a little bit easier for the ghost to be distracted by what you're doing all right down here uh, one thing I will say though I really should return to the original Metroid I feel like this game it uh, it really helps you if you play this game multiple times, you know where you're going, because a lot of the areas in the original Metroid, they're pretty, pretty much the exact same. So, yeah. Although, it's the game's much harder, because you can't shoot in eight directions, also. Alien, killer whales. Look at that one whale monster from um, Kid Icarus. I know there's, this is definitely an area we're going to be able to go to later on, but... Down the hole. Also, forever epic video game music. Of course I interrupted it. Actually, there's a reason for that. There is... Something interesting. Yeah, there's a secret back here. Yeah, that music's pretty good. I am gl I'm glad they included uh, included this in the Brainstar Depths, uh, Brainstar Depths in Super Smash Bros. Melee. That was a really cool stage. I love the remix, and this is just an amazing song. I remember I was listening to this when I was uh, uh, 69 missiles. I was for some reason taking a state test uh, in here. I think is actually an area. Oh, no, we can do something about it. Never mind. Easy missile tank right there. I'll be quiet for a little bit because this song is just. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, also another... I'm pretty sure this is the exact same area, but... Um, it's called, I believe this area is called Brainstar Depths and Melee. That's and it, the fact that obviously there's, a, there really isn't a whole ton of enemy names. Like there's a lot of stuff they had to translate from Japanese and it's not really official because people always like retranslate the names uh, from Japanese to English. And then the, it, it, either some enemies, like for example, those like parasite enemies, they're actually, those are the game files names, the game file names for the enemies. So who really knows what their official name is? Uh, I'm sure there's something more official, but that's interesting to the fact that, you know, they actually rip from game files. A lot of enemies don't really have a whole ton of names, except for like, of course, Metroids, because, you know, gotta name our box art after them. Why can't Metroid crawl? I'll shut up. Uh, right here's a... Right here... What the... Okay, um... Never mind, I was gonna say... We're supposed to freeze those guys, we can just jump up there by ourselves. Uh, there's some, like, mechanical stuff we can't actually do with. Oh, right here. You slip through the wall. Bomb these things. Yeah, they're like little cannons, like, our own cannons. Place some bombs, like, right there at the last second. Right here. Yeah, right that spot. And lay a bomb off. It just open up a hole in the wall. Fall down, hold right, and... Secret room with... It's like, Mr. Crabbed places. I like money. Money, 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 money. I, I hate how there's... They, they make... I hate how in Super Metroid they make you open those up with five missiles. I don't understand that. So you go in here and I guess we give some of our suit power to this. It's kind of weird. Get an E-Tank right away. Nice. Yeah, I don't understand why in Super Metroid they make you use five missiles. It just feels so clunky and weird and usual. And you might actually end up using too many. And there's a lot of cases in Super Metroid you can run out of missiles. Although there are very few places to actually use missile tanks. I see you actually missed something, I'm not sure if we can actually do anything about that. In here is actually a... Uh, 
Anyways, uh, right here is this door we actually can't do anything about. Why don't we try going back? Oh, wait. What the? Uh. Oh! Pff, whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. So right here we got this, like, angler boss thing. You gotta... You can dodge by grabbing these hooks right here. And fire off missiles right when it does that. Get stunned. Back and forth. Uh, you gotta try to bait it. This, like, giant worm. It's kind of like that, like, uh, king worm we saw originally. We can actually uh, lay down regular shots on it, too. Let me see. Yeah, we can. The missiles do a bit more, uh, probably better work to it. Alright, so we go back and forth. There's not really too much about this boss. Oh, jeez. But when you, if you get stuck in here, yeah, you're gonna be... You're in a world of hurts, my boss said. Actually, I'm going back to work tomorrow. I really shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, it's destroying pillars. It's extremely ticked off. Yeah, holy crap. Although, not really much of a problem for us. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this boss piece is kind of mad. There, they, this boss is not in the original Metroid. There was only, like, a handful of bosses. Not really many at all. So, yeah, there's not really much to say about this guy, except for the fact that it has a sack and it looks like a barnacle for some reason. I get, well, actually, the best way to do is just stand there, stun it, and then just unleash rain. Alright, then we kill it, and then the acid drains. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You go down here, blow this up. There's an area you can get. Some stuff, pretty nice looking, like, tube shaft. Reminds me of, like, those teleport things from Galaxy Man stage in Mega Man 9. Uh, then we should be able to get a missile power up in here, if I remember correctly. I love how I kept saying that, even though I, it was right in front of my face. I like how they can cr these guys can crawl over top of the missile power up. Missile expansion, pretty cool. Hey, we get a missile refill right beside a missile tank. If you're, they both do the exact same thing, except one is way more valuable, and there's limited amounts of them in the game. Alright. Yeah, it was probably like a childhood dream. It was a, it was a childhood uh, dream come true for I'm sure all of my friends and cousins and sisters and everybody to, for like eight people to play Mario Kart at once. I wish I was I have had times where I wanted to bring it on the bus and I wanted to play with everybody, but everybody. So there's a missile expansion here. I don't think actually we can get it yet. Not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll be back to that area soon. It says it's in there. I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll definitely be back in there. Besides, I'm gonna come back and get all the stuff we missed. All right, now that this room's done, we can get through the area. With the uh, grappling hooks powered on. There actually isn't a grapple beam in this game, interestingly. I think it's one of the only iterations of Metroid uh, without the grapple beam. We can use this cannon. I think this should lead us yeah, back up top. Oh yeah, that's right. Now we can get we can go all around up since these things are powered on finally. Yay! That was actually really really under amusing very underrated whatever I I according to this at night I'm kind of flabbergasted because I'm going my boss gave me a call and he's like oh yeah you can work tomorrow blah 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 whatever I'm really looking forward to getting my going to that job really I'd personally rather work at Wendy's because it pays so little but doesn't try to be nice oh there's a missile tank can I get it uh, without grabbing the ledge one thing I will say bad thing about the power grip is the fact that it just like it, it grabs ledges so you don't want to grab by accident. I suppose you can fix that. Yeah, whatever. I was going to say, that sucked that I fell, but nope. Oh, yeah, actually, one of the only ways you can kill those guys is by using that uh, launcher down there. So now that we've done that, we've turned on those, um, turned on these, uh, like, grappling hook things. I love how I just call them. So it did, like, the only iteration of the grappling hook in this part of the game. I mean, in this game at all. Uh, we should be able to return back to the main halls and then uh, go do some stuff. I just kind of wish there was those like bees that emerge from down there. I'm pretty sure I've said before that I really don't like uh, bees in general. They're and hornets. I guess I got stung by those when I was younger, and I didn't realize that. I actually thought I always thought I never was stung by a bee before, but that's just been a while. I think I know why I have fears of bees because I have like nightmares to stick my finger in a hole, which actually did happen. I somehow I'm actually able to remember. I'm talking really fast, but uh, if we go over here, we actually can't do anything about this energy tank and I get knocked off fantastic why would you put blocks oh my get the flip why would you even put blocks here wow this is that was mean developers like holy crap you want to make design just put blocks on top of lava and make you feel extremely hopeless like that was that sucked 
Wow, I might have to do a bit of grinding because there actually is no full heal rooms until later on in the game, which is stupid. I don't know why they did that. Save rooms actually healed you, which is interesting. But, and eh, what are you going to do? Uh, actually, something kind of cool is if you bomb. You can actually, yeah, you can pick up the morph ball, which is pretty cool. And then that allows you to go through, like, tight corridors like that. Uh, so far, oh, yeah, there's where that missile tank is going here. I don't know about you guys, but if you have any, like, horror stories. Like, what's the youngest memory you guys can remember? Actually, if you go down here, it's actually not an actual lava pit. I mean, an acid pit. You can actually go through this. It's one of those illusions. The original Metroid had this illusion that a lot of these areas are just like the original Metroid, as I said, but... What's the memory you guys can... What's, like, the youngest memory you can remember? I think it was probably, like, one for me. That's when I got stung by beats. I remember sticking my hole in there. My hole in there. That totally sounds sane. Let's go down this hole, though. Oh, familiar-looking block structure. Hmm. I wonder what that's going to be used for. Hey, thanks, freaking bees. Coming out of your Mario pipes. Think you're so cool. Yeah, right. Screw off. Bezos or whatever. Bezos. I never understood why the the, uh, the birds in uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 were called albatrosses and Bezos. Like what? What's a Bezo? Albatross? Eh, whatever. Hey, we still can't do anything about this. Let's go in this room. Hey, what are we gonna do, guys? We better go home. Metroid can't crawl or move, push blocks. Actually, no. We can obviously see there's a crack in that wall over there, and I definitely want to get all the ounce of energy because of that stupid mistake I made. Mmm. Get. Why would. I swear sometimes. Get this, and we get to grab like a devil's looking Pikachu. Anyways, cue the evil sound effect. Yep. Another item we can't use, but we can, hey, we can at least use this statue to get fully healed. Oh, that was weird. And we drain the life out of it. Being instantly just vaporizes in midair somehow for being able to grab those items. Hey, suck it, bugs. So I think that's actually going to be a good place to stop it here, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I really would, really would appreciate it. Uh, so this part we got to crade, or don't really know why they... How, I guess the bosses were so narcissistic and... Metro Zero Mission, they had named the areas after them, but this area is called, um, you know, we got the Rainstar Depths, got the uh, handful of missile expansions, uh, nothing really at all. That's about it. Anyways, see you guys then.